you know, when I was going to school, I mean, I'm not going to south at all, but when I was going to school up north, you know, it could have been in heaven before I got here. I don't know. But, uh, you know, they always had, you know, teacher's aides, you know. And teacher's aides, you know, aren't just people. They're like people, places, and, you know, things, you know, stuff. So it says, you know, I got this flight school, man. They talk about Top Gun flight school, you know. You see Top Gun? They got planes and stuff, man. They got warbird museums and stuff. All kind of stuff, you know, but they never have like a, you know, just something cool, you know. You know, the cooler mind, you know, is about war and stuff. So, you know, they got a flight school, right? You go over to the airport, you know. You got the one building over there talking about all the different armed services, space stuff. You know, and uh, taking turns and doing different stuff, you know, activities. You know, and then they got the, the Sterling Flight School, man. You know, pure heart, pure mind. Like, man, how can we get creative for God today? You know, it's, it's, uh, let me get a better look at it. You ever seen, you know, when those ministers, they take their sunglasses off. Or, you know, they got glasses so they can read the books, you know. And you ever see them, you know, they just take off their glasses and they're like, man, let me get a better look at this. And you know why they do? They do that. It's for you, you know. They go. You know, I don't need my eyes right now. I don't need my sunglasses. I don't need my eyes to see the books. I'm going to talk to God for a minute, you know. And when a minister or a preacher does that, that's when you know, man, I better start listening. And they go, well, you know, I've got this big airfield out here, you know. See, it's a field with just air in it, you know. Protect the grass, protect the trees and stuff, you know. But, man, did you ever think about, look, look at that plane flying up in the air. You know, and they look at the plane, they don't know what it is, man. You know, you know, we had a rocket ranch, you know, out there, one of them high schools, you know, they had a big rocket, you know, like a, like a space shuttle rocket, you know, it's a, a rocket, you know, like a big rocket out front of the high school, you know, it was like the next high school, man, it was like some Titan, Titan space shuttle crew or something, you know, had a big rocket out in front of the school, man, everybody excited to go in there, but their minds weren't ready for it yet, you know, so it's like we got a, a psychological program, you know, and, See if we can get the thinking right first, you know? Get them back to God, you know? Turn back to God, you know? Look up. There's much more up there than you even know about, you could possibly dream about. So we like, you know, how we get them dreaming about it then, you know? Like, you know, you start with a building, you know? And not just a building, but a building of the people and the minds and the, the outside world in the building, you know? Like greenhouses and stuff, you know, is what you need. So you get that going with the botanical stuff, you know? And then you go over here and they come around the corner and they go, Man, we're gonna need some pilots for that, you know. Plus, we're gonna need some crew members, you know. And the crew members, man, they gotta know how to listen to the pilots and stuff too. So, you know. And then they go, well, the pilots, you know, you have instruction videos for the universal healthcare system, you know. Everything gotta kind of intertwine together, you know. So, they're like, uh, the pilots. That's why we had pilots for TV shows, you know. They call them pilots because we needed pilots to space program, not just for outer space, but for transporting, you know, stuff to build stuff, you know. The builders meeting, you know, they had a thing last summer. I saw before. It's like the creators meeting, you know, you know, Microsoft, you know, Bill Gates, you know, you know, I, I, I reamed him a new one, man. I chewed him out, but he knew, he knew why I was chewing him out. You see, the open source community, you know, we put stuff together, you know, we don't care about the money. And then Bill Gates, he come along, he try to build it up and spread it out as best as he can, you know. But then people were stealing each other's ideas and stuff. So and Bill Gates says, well, we'll just uh, get all their stuff and put it together, see how we can help them, since everybody's arguing about it. And they go, hey, everybody thinks we're greedy and stealing all their ideas. So when we get that guy, one of those charter kids out there, you know, in each state to kind of help out. So we got charter kid in this state, charter kid in that state, charter kid in this state. But then it's like, oh, well, they're just in the states. Well, we need a charter kid to go around all the states and see if they can communicate together, you know. This is all. So they throw in the money, man, and they're like doing all this cool stuff. And they're like, man, I mean, Bill Gates actually cares? He says, yeah, man. It was just top secret stuff. He was trying to act like he don't care, you know, so everybody get mad at Bill Gates, right? They start talking about Bill Gates and they're like, well, the open source community, you know, they can contribute and stuff to Bill Gates all the while, man. And, you know, you think uh, where those donations come from, you know, Bill Gates don't want the credit for it. But, you know, he's donating to some of those companies behind the scenes, you know. Don't even ask for a tax write-off. He got plenty of money. He's like, here you go. Shh, don't tell anybody. And then, like, uh, then you see some of them, you know, they open and say, this guy gave me a, you know, donation. This guy gave me a donation. This company, you know, donation. So maybe some people, you know, they buy those products, you know. 
the other companies that gave donations, they don't even mention them, you know? Not at all. Because those companies, they don't want no credit, you know? They don't want no credit at all. They're like, don't even mention us. We got plenty of money, man. You know, help some of those other big companies that kind of need help. They help the little companies, right? So it's like a field of dreams, you know? And how do you get them to dream, you know? They got to come in here and they're like, maybe I'll go in the building and talk to somebody, maybe, you know? Or maybe I just look through the fence, you know, tell you how to build a new airplane or something. And they go, well, you know, maybe if it's a flight school, you know, some people, they're on the other side of the street, you know, like the other side of education, you know, they need better education. How do you get them across the street? We go, you know, if they're coming over, they drive in on the right-hand side of the road, and they look on the left-hand side of the road, and they're like, man, there's an airplane over there sitting in the middle of the field. What's that thing doing there? Oh. And then they go, well, maybe I'm on the left side of the field, off a of left field somewhere. I need a better education. So, you know, there's a civil air command right there. And they go, whoa. Then they look over and they see on the right side of the street, they see a sterling flight training facility. And they're like, man, if I could get some silver wings, man. And they go, well, did you ever see that cartoon from a Department of Defense in Virginia? Yeah, it's like the state of Virginia up north. You know, it's the north helping out the south. Can you imagine how you connect stuff like that? It's like, well, some of these southern folks didn't know that, you know, so they need like the northern Joe guy, you know, you know, Mr. Joe, he goes like crazy Joe, you know, like the white version of crazy Joe, the black movie, you know, lean on me, helping the black people, helping the white people, helping the Spanish people, helping the Chinese people, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe the guy over there in the desert or the guy up there in New York, or maybe one of those multimedia companies, we don't know, it's just the guy who does the thing, man, it's like the spirit of God working through everybody, and he goes, okay, what do we do? Well, you get your plane, man. You know, it'd be really cool if you help North Carolina out and you go, we need one of those biplanes, you know, with the double wings. You ever seen those trick planes? They had the two wing sets, you know? It's cheap. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a plane with an engine in it, man. You just make a model plane like the Wright Brothers thing. You ever been to Smithsonian, Smithsonian Institute, man? You know? And you put like a little, a little canopy, you know, like a gazebo over top of it, you know, keep the rain off. And then like, uh, you know, just like one of those uh, little little picnic stuff, you know, when they think of eating a meal like a picnic, you go, well, you know, there's an educational meal for somebody, you know. It's like, a, it looks like one of those gazebos. It should be a bunch of picnic tables under there, but they got this Wright Brothers looking uh, remade model of a Wright Brothers airplane. And it says, uh, it says, uh, you know, on it, they go over, it's got a plaque and it says, North Carolina, the Wright Brothers, right? And uh, uh, sponsored by Department of Defense, state of Virginia. You know, put a plaque there, you know. And then they go, man, and they look at that. And they go, I mean, I gotta find out about this. And then the Silver Air Patrol, man, they tell them, hey, your kids ever seen that movie Silverhawk? Silverhawk, you know, it was an old Sunday cartoon. You know, came out on Sunday cartoons. You know, the churches were involved in that. I don't know if you guys knew that. You know, it was like a top secret church up there in the Department of Defense in you know, Virginia. And they're like, put out this Sunday Martin, this Sunday morning cartoon and talk about Silverhawk. And Silverhawk, man, it was about this this guy had these silver metal wings, man. It's like flying in, and it lands, you know. And it's like uh, they're protecting this planet stuff, this alien planet stuff. It was a really cool cartoon, you know. And they're like, man, well, they forgot about it, so then we brought Iron Man back, man. And he's got Iron Man going, man. Iron Man's like, oh. and it's like, man, I thought Iron Man died. It's like, Iron Man didn't die, and you know, watch that movie, you know? The one, you know, the Chinese stuff. I mean, they had heroes, man. They see ultimate dimensions and stuff. So he's like, okay, so Silver Hawk, he's like, all right. Well, that's when Iron Man, you know, he made another suit for the other guy, the black guy. He says, oh, you mean the white guys are helping out the black guys and the black guys are helping out the white guys? He goes, man, why do you think they made a suit for the black guy? It's about Silverhawk, man. You know, the guy who went over to the black churches and the black churches going over to the white churches. They got together and started talking. And he's like, man, that's some fifth dimensional stuff right there. Have you ever seen quantum mechanics, man? They're actually here, you know? We just don't talk about it. Shh, it's the best kept secret. So anyways... So you put something like that out here in this empty field that's being used for nothing anyways. It's just sitting here. You build something like that. Boom. Like really old technology, man. You know? Old technology. Let me see how you tie that in too. You know, your tourism stuff for your beaches, you know? And you think it's just about surfing? You ever watch a silver surfer, man? I mean, come on. The silver surfer. Right? So you got a little thing out here with a building. 
You got the Wright Brothers, you know, a, a remake of the model of the Wright Brothers plane here. You know, like a biplane with, with no engines and stuff, right? It's like old technology. And then, you know, you go down the street, you got a, a, a makeshift helicopter, you know, Army, Marines, Navy, all that stuff in there, plus the, the botany stuff, you know. You got, you know, little miniature space pods and stuff hanging from the ceiling with your teachers in there teaching, like top gun school, you know, flight school. And then you go, huh. I got a sterling flight training, you know, so flight training, it's like angel training, man. If you read the Bible, silver is a sign of purity. And then I go, wow, you mean I can go to the beach too? Yeah, you go to the beach and you got, you know, silver surfers, man. You know, they got like sailboats on surfboards, you know, silver surfer, you see? And it's like, man, you know, if these preachers would just start preaching, you know, but like, how am I going to preach? They didn't build the stuff they were supposed to build, man. And it's like, well, yeah, just talk to Mr. Kirk. And he's like, no, man. He was in like a triple coma, you know? And there was some people down at the bar. They got really drunk and they weren't, weren't really doing what they're supposed to do, you know? And it's like, man, what do you mean? Well, the judges told him, it says, hey, you listen to this guy? You no? Know? I mean, Judge Maxwell's like, hey, my name's Judge Maxwell. You see me run out of the courtroom? I almost fell over the bench trying to tell those lawyers that. It's like, this is the coffee guy. Oh, the coffee guy? He says, I'm Judge Maxwell, ain't I? I don't want to tell you three times for the Trinity for the church, okay? And he says, that's Joe. He's like, coffee, you know, for the church. A wake-up call, you know? So he's like, okay. He go, well, you know, they put him in a triple coma. They're down there drinking triple sec, you know? Yeah, because it's triple sick, you know? Triple sick people messing with a guy that's three times in a coma. So how do I get there? He goes, well, you see that movie Inception? Can somebody get him to watch that? And maybe we can wake him up? Says, okay, all right, somebody go talk to Joe though, because we need G.I. Joe right now. And I'm like, G.I. Joe, yeah, he's like that paratrooper, man. You know, his second grade or third grade project, you know, was a, it was like a handkerchief, man. It's like, you know, he was wearing handkerchiefs, you know, like the old West, you know, because his grandfather is, you know, Bill and Billy the Kid, man. Went down to Mexico, you know, his dad did, you know, a dangerous country, you know, but he talked to all the Mexicans and made all kind of deals way back in the day. So, he says, man, somebody go talk to Joe, because. He is so messed up right now. That's like the guy that needs to go down there to New Mexico and talk to Roswell, man, because the aliens are really mad. And it's just okay. So maybe, maybe we'll get a Wright Brothers plane here, you know, for the mountain people up there that does security and stuff for us, okay? And then you go, man, and you could tie that in with a DOD and stuff and the sterling stuff. And then you get a little shop down the street, all the militaries and stuff and the local schools doing volunteer stuff, stuff like that. And then, man. You could really sell some of that silver surfer stuff, you know, windsurfing lessons and stuff like that. And then you branch that off and then you start doing stuff like, you know, you know, the doom buggies, you know, in the desert, you know, slow moving stuff, fast moving stuff. And then, you know, you know, you do wind sailing out in the desert, man. I mean, come on. They go sailing silver surfer on the beach. And then while you're out there doing your Mars mission, you know, they do all the serious stuff. Then they got these sails, you know, stuff hooked up to these little carts or these little surfboard stuck looking thing, like, you know, the hovercraft from Back to the Future, you know, but out in the desert, you know, with wind surfing in the desert, no water, you know, seeing, and then that helps them think that's what we're working on, trying to get water and plants and grass out here in the desert of the Mars mission, you know, so we can go travel to other places in the universe. It's not that hard, man. You know, I told you, free consulting, man, for Christ, you know, free consulting for Christ. And what's Christ? You know, it's wisdom, man, free consulting for wisdom. There you go. You want to talk about the church, you know, don't ever question my faith or my dedication again.